Welcome back to the channel. Today we got something super epic to install. That is this RPM side to side oil catch can. But guys, this is the black anodized aluminum oil catch can. Uh, man, this is a pretty sweet looking part. I'll kind of get you a close up view here. This catch can has a two baffle design. So you got one baffle that sits right in here and another baffle that sits right in here. So what that allows for is the oil and water mixture that gets inside this. So it allows it to keep from coming out and splattering all over your ride and stuff. But I know you're probably wondering, why do I need this? Or is this gonna benefit my machine? So let me tell you a little bit about what this does and how it's gonna benefit your machine in the long run. So this hooks up to your factory crankcase breather line. Right now, that comes from your crankcase up to your intake tube. So in turbocharged systems, when you're at high boost and you're putting that boost into the cylinder, when the combustion happens, sometimes some of that gets by the piston rings. What that produces is called a blow-by. So what blow-by is, is a oily water mixture that it gets recycled into your intake. So that's where the catch can comes in play. Crankcase vent tube is gonna connect to this. All that blow-by is gonna go inside the catch can and not back inside your turbo. So it's gonna improve the life of your turbo, your engine, you're gonna perform better, because you don't wanna re-burn that oily and watery substance, because it contaminates your air fuel mixture. Also too, guys, you guys that's in a colder weather environment, or some of you guys that run the E85, this is really gonna benefit you guys. Kind of the best way I know how to explain it is if you start your car up in the morning, or as you see right here in this clip I'm gonna put in, you'll see that the water's dripping out of the exhaust. That's condensation that's coming from your engine, and this catch can is gonna help you to collect that condensation, that blow by, and it's gonna store it in this can. You'll see here it has a drain valve on the end here. The only thing you'll have to do, unscrew this, and then all that stuff that could've went in your engine is gonna drain out the bottom here. So guys, if you're wondering, do I need one of these? Then I'm gonna say, if you want to improve your lifespan of your motor, your turbo, I'm gonna say, go ahead and get you one. Or 189.95 on rpmsidebyside.com, and if you use code Norman at checkout, guys, you can save five more percent off of one of these RPM oil catch cans. And this here is the black anodized aluminum, and they also have a polished aluminum. Go ahead, go on the website, guys, get you one of these. Super easy install. Stay tuned if you want to watch the install video. We're gonna go ahead and throw this thing on. Kind of just wanted to go over first a little bit of why you would want one of these or, or what the benefits are. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and see what our first step is. We'll get this thing on. All right, guys, first step here, we're gonna remove this rear cover and I do have this bump seat in here. Yours may look a little different if you don't have one. So go ahead and remove this. All right, guys, so your next step here is you're gonna come right here at your turbo. You'll see directly behind the turbo here is your crankcase vent tube. And you'll see, guys, all that blow-by and that oily water mixture comes right here, recycles right back into your turbo. I just wanted to show you guys that so you could understand better of what I was talking about. So let's go ahead and take this hose off and RPM included a cap that we gotta put back over this hose. I got the clamp loose off of the crankcase breather line and we'll go ahead and pull it off make sure to grab your clamp there's your line there and you can see guys crankcase breather line there that oily substance that's going to stop going back into your motor and it's going to go into the catch can all right guys you're going to come around to the back here and your crankcase breather line which is right here you may have to cut one of these zip ties because you're going to be pulling this tube to here is right here on this bar is where you're gonna mount your catch can. Let's reach back in here and pull it out. Now let's mount the catch can onto the row bar. All right guys, your catch can's gonna mount right here on this bar. It looks super sweet. You have this clamp that goes on the underside and you have two bolts in it. All right, also too, guys, RPM includes this pre-filter for your air filter up here. Looks pretty sweet, it has RPM logo on it. We'll go ahead and put this on. All 
All right, guys, so next step here, you wanna connect your crankcase breather tube to your oil catch can. And there is no clamp needed here, guys, because as you can see how this is ribbed, it's made to just slide up and the, these locks onto it. So we'll go ahead and put it on. So there is one more step, guys. We gotta come back to our old crankcase breather line run. We gotta cap that off. All right, guys, we'll come back to right here and include in the kit, you'll have this little cap and you'll put that back over where your crankcase vent tube went. All right, guys, reinstall a real cover and we're done. All righty, guys, got it fully installed. Man, does it look sweet. I love the way that kind of fills up that little gap there. Kind of let me know down in the comments if you want me to do a review on this after, say, 100 miles, 200 miles. And we'll drain this and see what all came out of it to see how much this is helping your engine and uh, your turbo life. Also too, if you haven't checked out my install of the RPM two and a half inch electric cutout, go ahead and check that out guys. This thing is awesome. Guys, stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed because something big is about ready to happen with this pipe here. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. All right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. This thing looks super sweet. Has a huge benefit on your engine and your turbo. So if you're wondering, do I need one of these? I would recommend it. Head on over to rpmsidebyside.com. Another $189.95. If you use my discount code Norman at checkout, you'll save you five more percent on top of that, guys. All right, guys, with all that being said, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Turn your post notifications on so you don't miss out on anything. Cause I got some epic content getting ready to come to the channel, guys. And I'm not gonna give out any big details as of right now, but I'm just gonna give you a hint to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So guys, really appreciate the love and support you've already shown me. The channel's growing really good. As long as you guys keep supporting me, I'm gonna keep bringing you good quality content. And if you have any questions for me, please leave that down below in the comments. Or if you wanna comment on the video, if you liked it or disliked it, let me know what I could do better. Also guys, I'll leave in the description the link to this catch can. So you can check that out if you need to. So guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.